Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video and today we're going to talk about top 10 Adidas sneakers of 2017. So for number 10, this is the best budget under 100 under 100 Adidas sneaker. That is the Adidas campus. So this is the Adidas campus. And I believe this is the best budget under $100 Adidas sneaker because the the quality of the hairy suede material is really good. The Three Stripes brand is made of leather, soft leather overhaul. You got the Ortolite sock liner and it's it's not that too heavy because the midsole makes this makes makes this uh, adds weight to it so that's the term it adds weight to it the midsole but overall this is comfortable if you're thinking of buying one it's good to go half size up but uh, because the toe box is narrow so I went half size up but it's good also to go through to size but my recommendation is to go half size up and overall this is the best budget adidas sneaker under 100 uh, if you're familiar with the gazelle some adidas stands and uh, iniki uh, that's that's the family of this specific model so again adidas adidas campus the best budget 100 under 100 dollar adidas sneaker adidas campus so for number nine it is the most minimal adidas sneaker that was released this 2017 yes the most minimal most minimal adidas sneaker that was released this 2017 is this the adidas swift run the most minimal adidas sneaker because it's this is and it's very lightweight very minimal as well and very lightweight so it's for 120 dollars but the midsole is really not good and i hope that they made it more better they add other style other other technology on the midsole but the prime net the prime net this is made of prime net there is also a, a swift run uh, in a mesh version this is the prime net version so this is the most minimal adidas sneaker this 2017 if you're thinking of buying one go through to size the Adidas Swift Run. Next 
for number seven, this is one of the best NMD alternative. Yes, one of the best NMD alternative. That is the EQT Cushion ADV. Yes, the AT, the EQT Cushion ADV looks familiar with the Adidas NMD, but it doesn't have boost. But overall, the materials that was used in the EQT Cush is really good. So if you're thinking of buying one, uh, go true to size or half size up. So the EQT Cush ADV. Next is one of the best, best budget boost sneaker. Again, one of the best budget boost sneaker. So the Pure Boost DPR is one of the best budget boost sneaker that you can buy. It's one of also one of the most underrated boost sneaker. But if there is something that I would love to recommend and your budget is just around $120, this is really good. Again, the Adidas Pure Boost DPR. That is really good. The Pure Boost DPR is really Good. So if you're thinking of buying one, go true to size. So for number six, it has something special. And I think in my opinion, it is unique, which it glows in the dark. Yes, it glows in the dark. <laughs> Yes, for number 6 is the Harden LS, LS which means lifestyle and if, you, if you're if you a baller, you love to play basketball and sometimes you want to wear a basketball shoe but you want it more minimal or let's say uh, more lifestyle-ish, that would be the Harden LS. The boost is really good as well and the Prime Knit. It's really thick. I think a lot of people are complaining that they should go half size up. So, but I went true to size. So, if you're thinking of buying one, you can go half size up or true to size. Yes, the Harden LS for number six. Number five is simply the most popular Adidas Boost sneaker of 2017. Yes, that is the Adidas NMD R1. So this is the Adidas NMD R1. And for number four is the Adidas NMD R2. Now, number five, Adidas NMD R1. Number two, Adidas NMD R2. Now the difference is, is that you can see the boost, the boost of the NMD R2 is is much more beefier and but a lot of people are saying the brick of the NMD R2 is irritating but for me it uh, the quality of the NMD R2 is much better 
than the NMDR one. But if you're thinking of buying one, uh, just go true to size. That's my recommendation. NMDR2, number four, number five, NMDR1, just go true to size. For number three is the CS1 Gore-Tex. <laughs> is equipped with fully waterproof feature at the same time because it's thick the it it consumes heat so if you're thinking of wearing them it's really it produces heat so that is for me the best all weather adidas boost sneaker the cs1 gore-tex number two is the most comfortable adidas boost sneaker yes the most comfortable adidas boost sneaker I believe that the EQT 9317 is the most comfortable compared to our number one to our number one which is the Ultra Boost ATR so I made a video my sneaker of the year is this the Adidas Ultra Boost ATR and I believe that the EQT support 9317 is much more comfortable compared to an ultra boost however if you're a person who is who loves walking like me i still prefer i still prefer the ultra boost for for long walks compared to the eqt 9317 but yes this is my number one the ultra boost atr because it has some water repellent feature the midfoot is really good the midfoot area is really good so the outsole as well is upgraded so for me the adidas ultra boost atr is my number one but a lot of people are saying that eqt 9317 is much more comfortable which is true which is true so i put it in number two but my number one is the adidas ultra boost atr thank you guys for watching the video and if you like it don't forget to hit that like button and share what are your thoughts on the top 10 adidas sneakers of 2017 thank you guys for watching see you on another video yeah.